So Kelso and Phelps versus the world. We've been here before. Is Phelps here? Oh, I wanted Phelps too. Maybe one day. What you need? Hello there. You need the land registry office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. Are we not gonna talk about his face? I think we should talk about his face. Marriage license department. Birth, deaths, marriages. Uh, wait a minute. Is there another one? Uh, land registry's office. Okay. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. Is this guy in it, too? Okay. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here. To do game, they're right there. Wait, Courtney. Courtney, for God's sake, what's he got to do with this? I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right. That makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. I believe that is in the Wilshire area. Here. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 cool seconds west. The lot number is 1876988. -988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book. So divide your lot number by 90,000. 1876988. Divided by 90,000. Yes. Oh, great. How the heck are you supposed to remember that big number? Have notes, of course. By ninety thousand, that's a big number too. One million eight hundred seventy-six thousand nine hundred and eighty-eight divided by ninety thousand. Twenty. Twenty. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. Twenty-one. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? <laughs> Why are you being a jerk to him? He's helping you out. 12, the 21st letter of the alphabet, of course, is you. Let's see what the site is worth to them. Oh, freak, I gotta find the number again. One, eight, seven, six, Nine eight eight. Oh, Randall Jones. Your book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, 
the improved value of the property is 3500 They can make a killing. But how do they pull it off? Very carefully. What? How do they find so me? Why I pump for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. Ooh, I like this gun. What? Keep on going, Jack. This guy has a lot of ammo. This one's got your name. But who's got your name? Throw out the gun. Let's see if I can't put one right between your eyes. Oh, dude! Okay, that we have was smart. I hate it. I was outplayed. Why did the mob is mob look here anyway? All right. Know why I pump for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. You think you can hold out? Yeah, hey, I've heard this before. Where is this guy? And why is my dog barking? What the freak is going on? It's 10 o'clock at night. Who's even here? <laughs> Keep on going, Jack. What? Oh, that's hat. I got his head. That was his head. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. Y you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of him, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Legitimately. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Mm. Mm. Who 
who's calling me now before I go to bed? Jack Kelso. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. We might. What was he doing? Oh, we're really going. Are we this dumb? I'm so used to be on this side of the car to get in. This is very interesting. All right. Pull free. That's a good too. I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. This hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. I feel like we need one more. Alright. There's, there's two ways to do this. You can say screw it, or say screw it. Who's got you? People, this has been a pretty boring fire. There's no one left. I lied. Is that a bar? Why the freak do you have a bar? Why are you going there before? All right, man, hold the perimeter. I got personal business oh. with Mr. Leland Monroe. Oh. That was oh. fun. This is one of my favorite. Oh. That was a fun shootout. Throw out the. I'm stuck. Or nothing. I'm moving. I'm moving. Check your fire. You took a lot of bullets, sir. For a 45. I mean, Thompson's a 45 ASP. Why is he taking so much damage? 
That's it, out of ammo. Next gun. Oh, come on! You're a very sweet looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, Princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, Princess. How about putting the cannon down? You absolutely deserve that. I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. Monroe, where are you, damn it? Please stop being dumb. Flesh wound. Another shotgun. Okay. That's it, out of ammo. Phew. Okay. I don't see any gold handle doors. Oh, that door's open, but I had a feeling we're gonna have a bad time. Did I drop the shotgun? Yeah, Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Ha! Oh, you crazy son of a bitch! How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard! <coughs> What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Oh, you're safe there, but I appreciate that. What we got in here? Roy Earl. That's a hell of a payroll. Those look like LAPD. Huh. I'm guessing Vincent's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. And what is in this file? <laughs> what? Smart. <laughs> Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. That's crazy. Anything else we got? Yeah, it's important. Oh, a newspaper. We need these. 10,000 new homes. I believe that. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down. Please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doc. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's 
scandalous allegation, Corey. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso, an investigator for California Fire and Light, has seen him. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? You. Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Military Let him go. You let them drift away. Hmm. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. No, I'm good. Courtney Nelson. <clears throat> Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <coughs> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. Please kill him. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He did whatever Fontaine asked. He had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and a then he went off the roll. rails. I don't have a fucking name! He walked into Bugsprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! Choose other link. Come on. Kelter, you son of a whore! Give me a goddamn doctor! <laughs> By the way, that's it. I mean, that's... This bourbon redevelopment fund has been... Dismantled in the old fashioned way. Mm. Fun fact if you don't do this case correctly, it will say search the uh, Vince's apartment. You'll find that what he, he deserves much worse than, you, than a smack in the mouth. I don't know what clues particular, particularly, particularly looks for. But guys, next to 108 Noir. Let's do the penultimate case. I'll see you then.